Okay, so in this video, we're looking at page 60 in our notebook, which is titled Special Rate Triangles. Um, the difference between this and the other pages, um, 58 and 59, are that now we have multiple triangles kind of put together. And so we have to identify like which pattern we're using and apply it. And a lot of times we'll have to use both patterns or um, two pattern, the same pattern twice, just kind of depending on what we were given in the problem. Um, so what we can see from this first problem is that I have a 45-45-90 right triangle and I have a 30-60-90 right triangle. So since I'm going to have to use both of the patterns, I'm going to write both of the tables out just to have it set up. So remember that the 45-45-90 pattern is xx and then x times the square root of 2 and the 30... 6090 pattern is x, x radical 3, and then 2x. So we're going to have to use both of those patterns for this problem because we have both triangles in the diagram. So notice that if I look at this first triangle here on top, that's the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So I'm going to use that table to answer with that information. And then the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Um, is that smaller triangle there. And so they want us to find x, y, and z. And so x isn't necessarily the x that's in the problem that we were given. So if I look at the 45, 45, 90 right triangle, 32 is across from one of the 45 degree angles. So I know that this number here is 32 for both of the x's. So that means that this side here is also 32 and that the hypotenuse is x times radical 2, so 32 radical 2. So this side here is 32 radical 2. So that means that I got my first answer, that x is 32 root 2. So now if I look at the blue triangle, because I solved um, the yellow one, that tells me one of the sides now. So I know that the side across from the hypot across from the right angle, so the hypotenuse, is 32. So across from 90 degrees, that side is 32. And so looking at our pattern, that's double x. So if I divide 32 by 2, that gives us 16. So the short leg then, the one across from 30 is 16. So that means that z must be 16. And then that means that the other leg is 16 times the square root of 3. And so this side is 16 radical 3. So that means that y is 16 times the square root of 3. Okay, so we have had to use both patterns in that one and build on our answers. Okay, so let's look at the inside. We only have a couple more of these. Um, because they are multi-step. Um, so then if I look at these two triangles, this small one, I see a 60 degree angle. And in the larger one, I see a 30 degree angle. So that means that I'm actually just using the 30, 60, 90 pattern. So that means that I can use the same table to solve, I'm writing 36, sorry. I can use the same table to solve um, for both of the triangles. So I've got a 30, 60, 90, where my pattern is x, x root 3, 2x. This time I'm going to solve for two different triangles, so I'm going to leave myself a little bit of extra space. Okay, so looking at the thing that I have labeled, I have seven radical three labeled. If I look at the triangle, that's across from the 30 degree angle. So in this first triangle, I'm gonna put seven radical three. I'm just gonna highlight this line in yellow so I know which triangle I was looking at um, if I have any questions later. Um, so if that side is seven radical three and I multiply that times radical three, 7 radical 3 times radical 3 is going to turn out to be 7 times 3, which is 21. So remember that what we're doing here is 7 radical 3 
times radical 3 is 7 times the square root of 9, which is 21. Okay. So that means that this side here is 21, because that's the other leg. And then the hypotenuse is 2 times 7 radical 3. So 2 times 7 is 14 radical 3. And so that's the hypotenuse, which is one of our answers. So for x, we're going to write 14 times the square root of 3. Now we're looking at the blue triangle. Um, and we know one of the sides from creating the triangle for the first one. So if I look at this triangle now, 21, and I'm just going to change colors, is across from the 30 degrees this time. So that means that 21 is our quote unquote x um, in terms of this problem. So then across from 60 degrees will be 21 radical 3. So the 60 degree would be this here. So that means that z is 21 radical 3. And then finally, the one across from 90 is double of 21. So that would give us 42. So the hypotenuse of this triangle, which is labeled as y, is 42. Okay, so our answers are that x is 14 root 3, y is 42, and um, that z is 21 radical 3. Okay, so then in the next one, if we look at this, we have both types of triangles. The top triangle here is a 30, 60, 90. So we're going to have to do a 30, 60, 90 table to solve that one. So 30, 60, 90, it's going to give us x, x, x. I was doing a 45, 45, 90. x, x root 3, and then 2x. All right. And then for the other triangle, we have a 45 degree and a 90 degree angle. So we're going to have to draw a new table because that's going to use the other pattern. So that means that we're going to have a 45, 45, 90 which has the pattern x, x root 2 that I was trying to write for the last one. Okay, so let's look at which one we know information about to start. So if I look at the side number that I have, I have a 9. 9 is across from 30. So that means that this side here is 9. This is a nice one because then I have x. So I can find the other ones easily. I don't have to kind of remember any patterns. So 9 is x, so this is 9 root 3 is the long leg, which would be across from the 60 that's not there. So 9 root 3 is going to go there. And then the hypotenuse is double 9, which is 18. So our hypotenuse is over here, so that's 18, which means that we know the answer for z. So z must be 18. Then we want to look at the other triangle. So because we found the side was 9 root Three, notice that that's the hypotenuse of this triangle. So 9 times radical 3 is what this value is for um, the triangle it's hypotenuse. So what's complicated with this one is that I don't have a radical 2 um, or an even radical in order to simplify. So what I'm gonna to have to do is kind of think about this as though it was an equation and use that to solve. So I've got x radical two, and I know that that's equal to nine radical three. And so what makes this complicated is I wanna figure out what x is. So technically I'm dividing by radical two, and so we did that by like cutting the number in half. Um, when it was nice. So in this case, that's going to give us 9 radical 3 over radical 2. So what complicates this is that I'm not allowed to have that radical 2 in the denominator. So this isn't my answer. 
I have to rationalize, remember, multiply by the radical over itself. So that's going to actually give me 9 radical 6 over radical 2 times radical 2 is just 2. So that means that x is 9 radical 6 over 2. That's a lot more complicated than anything that we had seen before. Notice that that's the answer for both x and y. Um, so both of these are 9 radical 6 over 2, 9 radical 6 over 2. So when I can't see the pattern, I want to take the two pieces in the table, right, this, and create an equation out of it to solve. So that's why I divided by radical 2 to get x by itself, because I'm trying to solve for the x and the pattern. Okay, so we will see or we might see another one that's complicated like this um, in the next one, I don't remember. Um, so if I look at this last problem, we have both types of triangles again. So notice this one has a 60 degree, so we're going to have to write out our pattern for the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, which is gonna be x, x root three, two x, and we've got a 45, 45, 90 triangle here. So we're going to have to write out that pattern as well. So 45, 45, 90, which is x, x, and x radical two. So for our last problem on this page, if we look at where we know information, we know this side here, which is across from the 90 degree in the 45. So we know that this is 15 radical 2 for our hypotenuse of the 45, 45, 90, which means that x is 15 and 15. So that means that both of these sides are 15. So the first answer that we get is the answer for z. So next, we're looking at the other triangle. So that 15 leg that's shared with these two triangles, that's across from 60 here. So that means that this is 15. And then we um, are going backwards. So remember that with this one, what we did was um, we had to technically divide by the radical three. And so what this ends up being is, 15 divided by 3 is 3. Sorry, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So this ends up being 5 radical 3. Um, again, another way that we could do that is the same way that we did in that last one. I'll show that work too if you like forget the pattern because this is one of the harder ones. If I take that and write an equation, so if I have x radical 3 equals 15. To get x by itself, I would have to divide both sides by radical 3. So that gives me that x equals 15 over the square root of 3. But remember that because we can't divide by a square root, we had to rationalize, which ends up that we have 15 radical 3 over, the point of this was that that becomes just 3, right? Because that's the square root of 9. So notice that 15 divided by 3, I can reduce that by 3 and I get 5 radical 3. So that's the long way. The easy way or the short way is remembering that if that number, 15, is divisible by the number in the radical, I divide by that and then I split it. So the, the three stays in the radical and then the answer, that number divided by three is the number in front. Um, so then if this is five radical three for my short leg, that is y. So y is five radical three. And I multiply that number by two to get x sorry, by two to get the hypotenuse. So five radical three times two is 10 radical three, um, which is the hypotenuse or X in this problem. Great. Um, so that's with 
when I have multiple right special right triangles, they'll give me one side and I can find all the rest of the sides of the triangle. So you're keeping organized with your tables um, and using those patterns that hopefully we've memorized um, to um, help us solve the problems. 